life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God, and that is the name of Jesus Christ. Be warned, friends, make sure you're hearing the right gospel, the right Jesus, the right spirit. For the Bible says, though you and other angel preach any other gospel that has been preached unto you, let him be accursed. He says it twice in Galatians. Oh, my dear neighbor, what path are you walking on today? Do you know the Lord? Are you born again? Jesus said, enter ye into the straight gate. For wide and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many there are going thereat. For straight and narrow is the way that leads to everlasting life, and few be they that find it. Few be they that find it, my neighbors. Come to know Christ before it's too late. Today's the day of salvation. And tomorrow's not promised. Please get right with God. You see, you guys see all the lawlessness happening every single day. Lawlessness, iniquity is running high. But the Bible says, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Make sure you guys' hearts is not wax cold to recognize these things happening in the last days. It's time to get right with God, friends. Cry out to God. Turn from your rebellion. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. But the Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, that there's no one righteous, no, not even one. No. Say that to me. Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book. For the time is at hand. The time is at hand. <coughs> he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Let him be... And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers, and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and the morning star and the spirit and the bride say come and let him that hear it say come and let him that is a thirst come and whosoever will let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testify these things says, Surely I come quickly. Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. The scriptures. It's time. It's time to get right with God because Jesus Christ is standing at the door, friends. There is iniquity happening every day, lawlessness. You can see it in the news. Stabbings, smash and grabs. The poor mother that got killed by her own son in Makaha. The shooting in Waimanalo. People of Avaine, now is the time to get right with God. I'm gonna to point you to God according to the word of God of John 14, 6. Jesus said himself, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And no one can save you. Not Buddha, 
not Joseph Smith, not Mary, not your parents, not your pastor, neither is there salvation in any other. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Lawlessness is happening every day. All our resources are working overtime. Our EMS, our police, our fire department. In because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God. Neither were thankful and became vain in their imaginations. And their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever, amen. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemingly and receiving in themselves a recompense of their error which was met. And even as they did not like to retain God in their and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do the things, those things which are convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God that which they commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in doing them. We're living in the last days, friends, where good has become evil and evil has become good. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, 